Hello again boys and girls. Um, today we are going to look at spring. Now if you remember the first art we did was winter, then we did winter to spring and this week we're going to look at spring. Now in the spring the flowers come out. They've all been asleep all winter and they start to grow. So we're going to draw some flowers today. So I'm going to show you how to draw a few different types of flowers then we can make put them all together in a bunch. So we're going to start off with a tulip. So we're going to draw, first of all, we need to draw a U shape. Then we're going to draw a line across. And another one that connects it from the top of your U to the side and the top of that side to the middle. Then we're going to put a little point on it. We're going to have our stem. On our leaf. The crocus leaves are tall and fat. A little rain down on it. Okay, should we try that again? You. that way, that side, and a little point on top, and our stem. Fantastic. Now we can colour them in, in a moment. The next flower I want to show you that's already started to appear in some places and it's a daffodil. Now the daffodils come in all colours. They, they, we see a lot of yellow ones but sometimes they're very very pale yellow, whites, oranges. You can do them all sorts of colours. So to start a daffodil we're going to make a little jaggedy oval shape like that a line in it. Let's do one from the inside. And then three little points. One, two, three. Next we're going to make the body of the, of the daffodil like that with two little curved lines. And we join them up. Now we're going to put some petals on. One, two. That makes one petal. Can you see I started that petal halfway up the first one? Because it looks then like it's tucked behind. Fantastic. And we can put our stem. And our leaves. Now daffodil leaves are quite long but not as fat as the tulip leaves. They're a bit wibbledy and they're quite thin. Not too thin though because they, they need to be able to catch the sun don't they. There we go. And again we can colour those in in a moment. So our next flower I like this one. This one's a pansy and we're going to draw a number eight. So we're going to start in the middle though, like you're doing the hearts. Draw a number eight. Then we're going to do another one but on its side. There we go. Doesn't matter if it crosses over you're going to colour it in with it. So then we're going to put a big circle in the centre and we just colour that black with our pencil. There we are. 
can just put some lines across there they don't have to be perfect because when we colour our picture in we're going to do this if we colour it purple this would be light purple and this would be dark purple use any colour you, you like really these two pieces are different colours and then last we have a daisy I like daisies they're happy flowers so for a daisy we start with our little circle in the middle then we add our petals like big rabbit's ears Put one on either side, one on either side, on either side, there. Then we can add our extra petals. There's our daisy and on our daisy we just have a very thin stem like that and then you can colour that whatever colour you like. Now I've added all my flowers together earlier and this is what your challenge will be. Can you draw a bunch of flowers? So I've made mine like this. So I've got daffodils and tulips and daisies and pansies and then we can put them together and colour the stems and then I'm just going to put a big bow on mine so I draw a rectangle two shapes at the side and then we just put a little curve there Look how that maps it look like a bow. And you can put some bits on the bottom there as well if you like. And then you can colour that in whatever colour you like. I like the spring because it's all very bright and lovely. I'm going to do my bow red. Now, I've used felt tips, but just so you can see the colours better on the camera. You can use pencils or crayons or whatever you have. It is absolutely fine whatever you decide to use. Because I know your flowers will be beautiful and I can't wait to see them. And I'll see you again next week.